Senator Munson. Honorable Senators, as uh, Senator Petticlair has just mentioned, today is International Day for Persons with Disabilities. And as we've done every year on December 3rd, since it was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in 1992, we promote the full and equal participation of persons with disabilities and act for their inclusion in all parts of society and development. Since that time, there have been many steps in the right direction. Many achievements and accomplishments have been made by the world's more than one billion people living with a disability. They are breaking barriers. One of those individuals is Chris Nikic from Florida, the first competitor with the Down syndrome to compete and complete an Ironman triathlon. Chris finished the 2.4 mile open water swim, swim 112 mile bike ride, and 26.2 mile run in just under the 17 hour limit. Like most people living with a disability, others often see Chris's limits and not his potential. But this race wasn't for other people. The 21 year old was competing and completing this triathlon to prove to himself that he can achieve anything, that his dreams can come true. Quote, I learned that there are no limits, he said after the competition. Do not put a lid on me. His mantra, one step forward, one step forward, two step forward, three steps forward. I've always said that every step forward is a good step. And Mr. Nikic has shown us this in action throughout every step of his race. Do not underestimate anyone for any reason. Canada took a big step forward on its obligations to the UN Convention on Persons with Disabilities by passing the Accessible Canada Act last year. And I was proud to be the sponsor of the Act in the Senate and proud, of course, that we passed it in a unanimous fashion. Since then, we have seen American Sign Language, ASL, available in the Senate chamber and in our communities. AL, ASL interpretation is now a regular concurrence at press conferences and news reports across the country and around the world, which, which is imperative for the deaf community, especially during a worldwide pandemic, more steps in the right direction. As you know, colleagues, uh, not all disabilities are visible. Many disabilities like hearing or sight impairments, as well as brain injuries, autism, mental health, and chronic pain can be invisible. The intersectional barriers faced by persons with disabilities are amplified as they deal with the restrictions of the corona pandemic every day. Negative impacts on mental well-being from isolation, diminishing access to services, disruptive routines are on the rise. Just because we have an Accessibility Act now doesn't mean we can stop advocating and raising awareness of disabilities. And I see my time is running out, uh, Mr. Speaker, but I have to get in this word uh, from my uh, trusty uh, assistant, uh, Michael Trink, who has Down syndrome. He's been with me for, for 10 years, and he wanted me to conclude, and he's an optimistic and hardworking soul, and he wanted you to know, he has this to say to you, he wanted me to share with you for, during this pandemic, Michael's words, stay positive and keep moving forward. I think that's advice we can all use. Thank you very much.